Yo yo, this is Fat Bums. Today we're discussing Saga. Okay, so to start off, we want to build a settlement. So let's do that. And that's with the command S, well, slash S, settle. So let's do that first. Oh, I forgot to put a name in. Let's, let's call it Fat. <laughs> Yay! Okay, now. I just made a stupid shell, by the way. Um, okay, now we go to claiming land. Now we want to do that with S claim. So let's claim some land. Claim some land. There we go. Now we move on to the next bit. Okay, so the next bit is buildings. And the first one we want to do is town square because this does your command for SS. Well, why am I saying SS? It's S spawn. But we can't use that yet. So we have to do reset town square. Okay, so town square is set here. Now we can use SS. Oh, I'm going to move away. So move away. Let's try SS spawn. Okay, see? I'm back by the silly little shed I made. Okay, now we move on to the next bit. Okay, so. Now there's other buildings like lumber mill, stuff like that. Reset lumber mill. These are all listed on the site. There's the <laughs> Gary's just put the page there by coincidence. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm the only member of the faction. You need four people for building points, so I can't even build this. But I will show you later on the the. Uh, in another settlement, what they look like, and all other sorts of buildings, we'll, we'll have a look in a minute. Okay, I was just invited to a settlement, and use S, accept. Now we're going to see other buildings, and see the functions and what they do, basically. Okay, so this is a warehouse. As you can see, entered warehouse, entered warehouse. Now you do this with uh, reset warehouse, just like that. Now, destore your stuff for the next buildings I'm going to show you. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Okay, so the mine gives you resources automatically generates into your warehouse so it's like a stock filler or a stocking filler <laughs> I don't even know why I was laughing there ok so it's the same way with B-Set B-Set mine simples ok so I should add about the bell leaves the faction leader needs to assign roles to his citizens. This is a mine. Needs a miner. For instance. And without the miner role being assigned, the warehouse doesn't receive the goods from the mine. Now there's other instances of this, like the lumber mill. The lumber mill needs a woodcutter. Uh, the trading post needs a merchant. There's other roles because there's obviously other buildings, but this is just a brief explanation. Okay, so you most of the houses, most of them aren't functional because they are homes. Do you see? And home. Okay, so the way you do this is bad <laughs> double D. Residence. Don't know why I double D, but oh, oh well. 
then the player's name, basically. Just like that. And then that's how you set someone's home. That's it for that. Let's move on. Another thing about homes is that there's an anti-grief system in place. Another thing I can build here, if it's been done. Yep. Okay. So, all the owner or the the owner of the faction can stop this from happening, or the owner of the house can do reset home. And this stops griefing and stuff like that. Look, I can't build in here, even though I'm in the faction. You see? Yeah. Rubbish carpet on <laughs> Scroll. Okay, so now we're down to the training camp. Now, you build points in the train, training camp by mining, uh, killing monsters, PvP, all, all these sorts of things. And you earn these points, and I'm going to show you the points now. Stats, slash stats, percentage. And then under lock, I've got three points. Now we're going to look at getting strength here with this sign, which is equals train under dash uh, ATTR, which is our attribute equals again, and then strength underneath it. And I'm going to right click it, change one to strength. So I use one point, and that's basically it. Let's get a precision one, eh? While we're here. What's this one? Willpower. Let's get one of them. That's basically it. Thank you. Guardian rune. This adds like a protective thing. So if you die, fall in lava, whatever. Keep all your stuff. All that junk. I'll be able to keep. Easy. That's about it for that. But it does run out and you need to recharge it. Okay, so that was just some of the features of the Saga plugin. Uh, there's many, many more. Like, for instance, you remember the B set? You can build an arena, for instance. And there's a lot more. You need to check the site because I can't make a two hour video on all the features because it would just be ridiculous. And why would you want to watch a two hour video? Okay, that's me out.